spina bifida is a neurologic condition uh, that affects uh, really the entire central nervous system, uh, including both the spinal cord and the brain. He's made a great amount of progress. But I think more importantly to the families, it's a congenital birth defect that's going to have lifelong impact, not only on the child, but the family themselves. And the decisions that you make, I think as they get older, they help you make them. And you have a, usually a very good medical team behind you helping you make those decisions. She's two years out from her spinal fusion, she had anterior and posterior. The orthopedic surgeon is pretty much a consultant in the many, many different physicians that are required to treat spina bifida. There is a wide and deep team of people that are put together to try to provide the support services for the kids. Thank you. Thank you. Spina bifida is a complicated disorder that many people find hard to explain. I guess the not so clinical answer would be it's a challenge like any other challenge that we are given in lives, in our lives, and um, this one happens to be a physical challenge. The most significant form of spina bifida is known as myelomeningocele. The spinal cord starts out as a flat plate of cells, and then it closes into a tube. And then when it closes, then the membranes over the spinal cord close, and the bone closes, and the muscles, and the skin. So if the spinal cord stays open, then none of the other structures close either. So with spina bifida, the structures are open. Spina bifida primarily affects the central nervous system, the brain and spinal cord, and those systems that rely on it for coordinated functions such as the bowel, bladder, swallowing, growth, and skin, to name a few. With the interruption in the development of the spinal cord, Messages that normally travel up and down the spine to the brain do so differently or not at all. This is an ongoing process. It's a lifelong process and the issues that come about that uh, affect that life and the expectations in life uh, happen at various ages and at different stages in the child's life and in the family's life. What we hope to try to do in impacting those life expectations is to help the families come to informed decisions in those choices as it relates to medical, educational, social, personal decisions that come and come again and come again. And because of this, Physical, occupational, and recreational therapists are key members of a child's interdisciplinary team. Recreational activities not only encourage fitness and well-being. They get a sense of belonging, a sense of belonging to a group, sense of accomplishment. They increase self-esteem. The social skills learned in team sports and recreational activities serve as building blocks for crossing more of life's bridges. Graduating from high school, attending college and or going to work. Moving to Houston was a big, big deal. Not having my family right there um, was a big growing experience for me. Kimberly has a Bachelor of Science degree with majors in criminal justice and psychology and a minor in biology. She has transitioned from home to college to community. As these children cross each bridge along life's journey, they teach us, just as we teach them. No one map fits the journey for every family traveling the challenging roads of individuals with spina bifida. However, with motivation, education, and encouragement, these children are successfully participating in life, crossing one bridge at a time.